I was diagnosed with primary sclerosis and cholangitis in July of 2017, uh, right before I was about to turn 17. Uh, and then about an hour after that, I was off to tennis. <laughs> um, so just back to my regular life. My name is Emmett Halloran. I am 18 years old. I just graduated high school and I'll be going to the Georgia Institute of Technology this upcoming fall. Yeah, so when people ask me what PSC is, I just tell them that it's a rare chronic liver disease um, and it affects the bile ducts within the liver. When bile gets trapped in the liver, it leads to cirrhosis or liver failure eventually. The, the typical uh, person that's diagnosed is a 40-year-old male, um, so I'm even a little bit rarer, even though the disease is rare itself. PSC affects 30,000 people in the United States. There's no known cause for PSC, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis, um, but they're believed to be caused by three factors, environmental, genetic, and autoimmune. Yeah, I definitely did some WebMD searches um, and kind of saw all the, the st statistics about the disease, the you know average time until you need a liver transplant, which I believe they say is about 10 years. Um, so all these scary stats I saw, and my parents as well, so it was um, a little difficult kind of figuring everything out online. When Emmett was diagnosed, both my husband and I were devastated, um, fearful of what would happen to him in the future. Having a child, you're still the caretaker, you feel that so much more. Once we met PSC partners at, at headquarters and realized people live with the disease, they're incredibly strong and dedicated and determined to find a cure. Uh, we definitely felt so much better. Oh my gosh, just putting a face to it. We didn't know anyone else with the disease. Yeah, so I just had a friend of mine from last year's conference reach out to me about going to the conference and asking me how I was doing. So we're getting excited. I had never met anyone with PSC before coming to the conference a couple days ago. And since then, I've really found that everyone here is just a big family and a big community. I was pretty asymptomatic uh, uh, until recently, where I've uh, started to itch and uh, been more and more fatigued. And Well, people who don't really understand PSC and don't know that it's a chronic illness tend to just say, sleep it off, or you'll be fine in the morning. <laughs> it's so bad when I've earned the doctor we together. Are. We just start laughing. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pretty open person. All my friends know about, you know, PSC, and I joke about it all the time. I mean, it might, it's not a joking matter, but that's how I deal with everything. I probably just joke about it. Um, I'm more hopeful today than I have ever been that there will ultimately be some effective medical treatment for PSC. There are about 20 drugs now that are in the pipeline, either recently reported or in the pipeline. So it's really, I think, in a very exciting time. Hopefully within the next few years, several of these will come out as being safe and effective therapies. There are a lot of uh, really promising agents. We have norurso, beta-colic acid, bezofibrate, the NGM maybe, the vancomycin, the vitaflu, and all of these new drugs that we've had. I've never, uh, in almost 40 years of working in this area, uh, seen a time when there are so many drugs and so many companies who have an interest in this. Occasionally I'll get itchy when it's hot or sunny out. Um, I'll have some hot flashes. And eventually um, I might become jaundice or yellow when it gets that bad. Um, but other than that, I would say fatigue and nausea are the two main symptoms that I feel. So I have ulcerative colitis, or UC, um, and some people have Crohn's disease, which is a part of IBD as well. Um, so that's definitely a scary thing that gets added on. Um, and then on top of that, we're at a heightened risk of cancer, so that's probably the scariest thing. You can live a wonderful life. You can be active and healthy and have fun, and, um, and that's, that is 
something that keeps me positive through all of this. We need a lot of people to stay on top of people, uh, stay on top of keeping the energy going, getting people to donate organs, be an organ, organ donor. Liver transplantation is really one of the most effective, is the only effective cure at getting rid of PSC. But with that said, even after transplant, PSC can return in a subgroup of patients. But really it shouldn't be tough for anyone that needs a liver transplant. Um, if everyone was just a donor, um, that would make everything way easier. Um, it's such an easy thing to do, like just checking a box. Um, so that's something a lot of PSC patients are hoping that people do.